The future of the Great Barrier Reef is in grave danger, with scientists delivering its worst ever health assessment. For the first time, the marine park has suffered back-to-back -back bleaching events in what's been described as a hammer blow for tourism. Lachlan Kennedy has the details. From the air, it's a depressing sight. Got a very broad crest and just about everything's bleached. Uh, we've now, for the second year in a row, experienced a major bleaching event. The damage stretching an estimated 1,500 kilometres. We have seen two back-to-back uh, -to -back bleaching events now, and that's caused by an underwater heat wave. It's unprecedented. Scientists blame the warmer temperatures on climate change and warn the proposed Adani Carmichael coal mine will only add to the problem. So the link between water temperatures, global warming and coral bleaching couldn't really be any clearer. Bleached coral isn't necessarily dead, but consecutive events make a full recovery unlikely in many locations. In 2016, the worst bleaching was identified in the northern third of the reef. This year, it's the central section between Cairns and Townsville. The southern third off Mackay hasn't escaped, suffering different damage. A direct hit from Debbie. That is a hammer blow to the tourism industry. It's becoming a hard sell for tourism bodies. They want government action to protect the reef, but don't want to scare off visitors. You know, there are plenty of areas of the reef that are in, in good condition. The visitors report a positive feedback from the tourism sites. Scientists worry that may not always be the case. Lachlan Kennedy, 10 Eyewitness News.